our long drives and keep that over there with our radio cars. Then we get our radio cars off on the right side, left side. Then we get back to our split tire cars over on the left side and back over here. What's going on? Uh, so, you're uh, Ken from Palm Beach Dino. I've heard so much about you. Uh, so what are we looking at here? Well, this is my 2020 GT500. People have seen it on your channel, actually, more than my own channel. Uh, we've basically done just about every bolt onto this thing. It's still a stock uh, engine, stock transmission, clutches, uh, but every bolt on. Okay. Other than a fuel system. It's not running a fuel system. It's, this is running on factory fuel pumps right now. It does okay. have upgraded fuel injectors. Yeah. And we run it on MS-109 fuel. All right. That, that pretty much sum it up? Yep. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we sell this as a whole entire package. We call it the CX-1100, which is all okay. the carbon parts, yep. all the bolt-ons, everything wrapped up. The wheels is one big package. Okay. We really haven't put a full price on it yet, but it's pretty inexpensive compared to like what you would put into any other car to get this performance. I mean, we went, we've been 930 at 155 so far. We're trying to best that today. So far, yeah. we're running into some tuning issues and that's what this is about. It's yeah. a brand new platform. You know, it's always a struggle. We're only a year into it. So it's an eight second car all day long if we can get the tuning figured out. Gotcha. Or when we get the tuning figured yeah. out, <laughs> not <Yeah>. if. <laughs> but it may not be today. <laughs> and you're kind of trailblazing with this too. I mean, it's a 2020, so. Yeah, you know, I've always here. been, uh, you know, a Ford tuner. For, 20 years I've been doing this. Yeah. And um, I kind of dreamed about this car when the S550 came out. Okay. I, I said to myself, why doesn't Ford build us a GTR level car mm. and just charge more for it? And the people that want it will buy it and everybody else will still buy the Mustang GT. And of course we had GT500s in the past, yeah. but they were never that uh, level. They're awesome cars, but they're high powered cars, but they didn't handle necessarily. They always had manual transmissions. Yeah. Between the DCT and the road course pedigree of this thing, mm -hmm. it's truly an American supercar. Wow, I've heard a lot about these two. Like you said, tracks too, not just dragways, but. Yeah, I mean, and that's, you know, I plan on doing that. When I get the drag racing worked out, yeah. I want to do a video where I take it to, let's say, Palm Beach, go run an eight second pass, change the rear tires, and then go on the road course and run a really good lap time. That's freaking uh, badass. I haven't started on that side of the development. I, I took yep. it auto crossing when it had lower power, but okay. right now I'm trying to be easy on it until I get this worked out and then we'll start on the road racing development. Awesome, man. Well, thank you so much for uh, telling me a little bit about it and uh, great to meet you too. Uh, I've seen you out there in, in some of my videos and <laughs> oh, we got awesome. Thanks for having uh, my car on the channel, it's funny. I think it's been on between this car and other cars that we've done. It's been on your channel quite yeah. a few times from Palm Beach and yeah. we never met. So great yeah. to meet you. Yeah, you too.
it this way. When I put it in my videos, more people ask about the trailer than. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I'm not gonna strap it, but I'll show you how it goes down. Yeah. Oh, no way. That is sick. That's it, and you just drive it right off. That's so cool. Yeah, it's awesome. I have an enclosed trailer, but I bought this because it's so wide. Yeah. It's just easier to load it and unload it by myself. So for short trips, All right. I'd rather get a little dirty. <laughs> and okay. Have it easy to drink.